Hey guys, what's up? This is Night Slayer here and real quick, I just wanted to let you know that unfortunately this is going to be a voiceover of my gameplay and not like my actual reactions to this gameplay. I just didn't have my microphone at the time and I had no idea how to set up my headphones through OBS. You'll just have to bear with me for a little bit. This is my second time playing as the hag on Dead by Daylight and I just wanna jump in here real quick. What I'm gonna show you guys first is going to be my currently selected challenge, which is hook eight survivors. I'm just gonna buy the mystery box and take a look at it. And then I'm also going to buy one more item, which is iron grasp. And it's just to kind of level up the hag a little bit more. Now I'm kind of showing you guys what the loadout I'm gonna be using for this challenge will be. And I'm just kind of looking at everything. And I'm showing you my current level and my current killer rank. You know, clearly I'm not the best. And I had previously already readied up. So this is just kind of me waiting on my slow internet and people to kind of load up in with this. Video is going to be a mix of sped up content and regular duration content. So you'll just kind of have to bear with me with all this editing and trying out different effects and stuff. It's like one of my first official gaming videos that I've been working on. So we have the anointed blueprint, salt pouch, fresh bog laurel, and tanger wreath, I think. I totally butchered all of those even though this is a voiceover. This is my second time playing in the underground complex and you know my second time playing as a hag so i kind of didn't really know where to go so i just started wandering around and my whole goal was to randomly place traps everywhere because i realized that was the most efficient way to play as the hag even though i believe you have nine traps and i got really lucky with where the survivors were as you can see i found one right away and i'm pretty happy about that and You know, I figured since there are scratch marks everywhere from where he was running, I could just continue placing traps. As you can see right there, I totally missed him and that made me so mad. And you know, there is a cooldown time when the killer slashes. So I literally had to just kind of stand around and wait until I could slash him again. As you can see, I, I think he lagged on that one there, but I got really lucky with finding all the survivors and you know the reason why i ran into that he was a hard one to uh walk around with you know he's really struggling to get free and as you can see what i'm doing around here is i'm placing three traps around the survivor to try and get the like most use out of the traps and we all know that other survivors will come for the hooked one so i figured that was my best plan of action and that was the uh first survivor hooked as well i went up to that totem because i really thought that you could you know destroy them or something because I don't, I don't really know the whole purpose of the totem, so I went up to it thinking I could destroy it because, yeah. And I kind of waited right there to, because I noticed that, you know, he was going down. He might be killed pretty soon, but it was just too long of a wake. So there is my second survivor hooked for the first time. Here again, I am setting up three traps around him just to make sure I can teleport to them when they activate the trap. And you know, as you can see, my traps were getting triggered because there's another survivor helping him, but since I was after this guy, you know, I just continued to chase. And right here, with other killers, you can attack generators, but I guess you can't do that with the hag. If you didn't notice right there, he kind of just teleported down. I have never been in this area before. <clears throat> which is why I kind of went back around there looking for a hook to put him on. I realized that there wasn't one. And I got really lucky with noticing that other survivor because she was right there. 
So I figured, you know, I would place traps around him. And that was the second time I hooked this guy. I've hooked three survivors already. Or no, I've hooked two survivors, one of them twice. You can see I'm kind of camping on the survivor due to his state. I figured somebody would try and help him real quick, which Claudette did. And I got really lucky. And look, there's both of them right there. And I've already hooked this one once, so I'm going to go ahead and hook him for a second time. And I still managed to hurt Claudette, even though she threw the barricade down on me. So I got really lucky with that hit. And I get really lucky with this hit again. She's sliding over, but I still got her. She was really struggling to get free. And so that is the third survivor that I've hooked in this round so far. And the fourth time I have hooked someone. And I just decided to say fuck it and destroy that barricade. I'm still kind of camping around Claudette just because survivors are obviously going to come and try and help the other survivor that's not doing so hot. So I keep going up to the generators because, like I said before, I thought you would be able to destroy them. I got extremely lucky with following this girl. I honestly didn't know that was there, and so that's why I kind of look around and stand around because I had no idea what I just fell into. And I figured she was gonna try to be going that way. She would still be up there, so I thought I could manage the trap right there. And literally, right as I land right there, my cooldown was done and I slashed her right away. So I got really lucky with that hit as well. I wish you guys could have heard my actual audio because I was like screaming. I was like, yeah, I finally got her. Yeah. Yeah, that was the fourth survivor I have hooked and five total hooks. Now I'm just kind of placing traps around her. I'm going to look for other survivors and luckily I found another one. And if you look right there, you can see Claudette's shoulder going over, and that's how I saw that she went over it before I heard the noise cue. So I got really lucky with noticing that and being really attuned to the detail. And I don't know why she thought I wouldn't see her for her crouching right there, but I definitely saw her and got her ass. Yeah, she was really struggling to get free, as you can tell. Like, you know, I'm trying to keep a steady line. And I got really lucky because there's another survivor right there. And she died right away. So that is the second survivor that I have killed so far. While following this survivor, I 
had never really been in this area. I just made sure to follow him up those stairs. You know, I've never been up in this area in here. I didn't even know this was an area, so I just followed him. I didn't know where I was. I was just going in for the kill and got his ass. And I couldn't grab him at first. If you can see like my buttons down there, I was kind of lagging a little bit. I really couldn't grab it. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh no, is he like, is this chest preventing me from grabbing him and putting him on the hook? Now that is the sixth time I've hooked a survivor. And that was his second time, I believe. Yes, that was the second time that I hooked that survivor. And so that is the third survivor I have killed. And I just got so lucky. I turned the corner and there he was. I'm so glad that the last survivor was right there and I didn't have to knock him down. And I all that I had to do was just grab him and boom, I basically won the match right there. And that was the, the eighth and final hooking of the survivors. Yeah, that was the first match that I've ever killed all the survivors. And that was literally the second time playing as the hag for my selected challenge zero out of eight that's where i started and i got the challenge and i've never made so many points before i was really proud of myself and yes i did level up my killer rank i'm really proud of that at the end obviously you can see everybody's scores so I thought I did fairly well, and I'm really proud of myself, and I thought I would love to show, show it and share it with you guys. So I really hoped you enjoyed the video. I'm obviously going to be releasing so many more, and I will actually be releasing the first time I play as the hag as well, just so you can kind of see how I played as her in that round versus compared to this round. And I'm so glad that I actually have both of those videos as proof that this is literally the second time I have played as the hag. And I literally, the file name is hag beatdown. <laughs> Cause I fucking, I'm killing them, yo. And that concludes it for my first official gaming video. Stay tuned because I'm going to be uploading quite a bit more videos now that I finally have my internet back and that I'm able to officially do this. I have quite a few videos that I have pre-recorded about a month ago when I first had my internet. So I will be uploading those videos in the next coming week. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'm glad that you made it all the way here if you did and just keep those positive vibes and don't forget things do get better. You have to go through the storm to see the sunshine and the rainbow. So just keep that in mind and keep those positive, oh my god, keep those positive vibes and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day, night, whatever, wherever you are. Just enjoy it and vibe.